Hi everyone, Hayden from Little Green Alien. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the 2020 JCPenney Disney Collection Buzz Lightyear. Now, one thing to note about this guy is he is different from the 2019 Disney Collection Buzz Lightyear. I used to have one. Unfortunately, I tried to spray paint him to glow in the dark. It was the first attempt I've ever made at that. Big mistake, because I kind of <laughs> him up unfortunately, but that's in the past. I know how to do it now. I know how to do it correctly, so yeah, unfortunately, he's gone, but we do have this guy. So I'm going to start things off by showing his box. So this is his box. As you can see, there's Buzz, Toy Story 4. There's Forky right there. Disney Collection, 30 phrases. So this guy has a lot of phrases. Uh... If you look here, you can see all the Try Me stickers he had on him. I always just take those off because I don't really like those. Here's the side. Here's the back. The back is like, it's kind of weird because he has like the regular Disney Store Buzz Lightyear face sculpt. But the actual figures got that weird face sculpt. So, yeah. I know a lot of people do like the JCPenney face sculpt. Personally, I really don't. That's just me, though. Toy Story 4. And, yeah, that's the box. Also, here is the bottom of the box. Just got some writing. Top of the box just says Toy Story 4. All right, that's the box. Let's get back into the review. So here's Buzz. This guy actually has a hell of a lot of features. Pretty much every feature that was shown in the commercial. So, like, from the first movie. So, laser. First communicator. Helmet does the whoosh thing, but it doesn't like close when you press the button, only opens. Uh, he's got wings, and his wings do light up, so that's pretty cool. He's got his karate chop action. And also, let me know down in the comments what you think of his face sculpt. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, that's just me, though. Maybe I'll do a head swap sometime. But I do the review before I do the head swap. So I'm thinking about it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not sure. But if I can find a Buzz with a better head sculpt that I'd be willing to swap it with, maybe I'll do it. So, now I will play you his phrases. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. No backtalk. I have a laser, and I will use it. Silence, Minis of Zerg. You're in the custody of the Galactic Alliance. It's all right, Space Ranger. It's a code 546. To infinity and beyond, evil Dr. Porkchop. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. I've crash landed on a strange planet. The impact must have awoke me from hypersleep. Well, who goes there? Brain seems a bit unstable. No readout yet if the air is breathable. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Oh, yeah! All quiet, nothing to report. I need to repair my turbo boosters. Do people still use fossil fuels or have you discovered crystallic fusion? Do you know these life forms? stationed up in the Gamma Quadrant of Sector 4. As a member of the elite Universe Protection Unit of the Space Ranger Corps, I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance. Please be careful. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. I tell you, I can fire on this room with my eyes closed. Hey. They are a terillium carbonic alloy, and I can fly. You're mocking me, aren't you? How dare you open a spaceman's helmet on an uncharted planet? 
So I believe those are all of his phrases. He's got a lot. They're all from the movie, though, and they all got Tim Allen, so I like that. Uh, unfortunately, he does not say Buzz Lightyear to the rescue or there's a secret mission in Uncharted Space. I'm not really sure why they never included those. I One thing I have a theory on is maybe it's because all the phrases he has, he says in the movie. Now, I know he says to infinity and beyond, but... If you remember from the original Toy Story, this. To infinity and beyond! So, he does say it in the movie, so maybe that's the reason they only included, like, that one and not the other two. Well, I mean, I know from Toy Story 4 he does have other voice box phrases, but I've always kind of had this theory that in the first three movies, Pixar really in only intended for him to say, uh, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue, there's a secret mission in Uncharted Space, and to infinity and beyond on his voice box. I don't really know if it's a solid theory, but then, you know, once Toy Story 4 came out, Pixar just added a bunch of phrases, but uh, if you want to speak technically, he always had those phrases, they just never showed them. That's just a theory I've had about Buzz. I don't really know if it's true or not, but just something I thought about. So, yeah, that's just my theory on it. If you disagree, that's fine, but that's just always something I thought. So, anyways, I'm going to compare him to a Disney Store Buzz just to show you what's all different. So this is your Disney Store Buzz from 2019. Now, something cool about this Buzz is he actually has all the same phrases as the JCPenney Buzz from 2019. So I can show you those so you can see the difference between them. I'll play his phrases in a minute, but I just wanted to talk about some comparisons. So this is not the regular 2019 Disney Store Buzz. This is actually the limited one that glows in the dark. And the reason I'm showing him is because my regular Disney Store Buzz uh, had a head swap. So this is the original Disney Store Buzz Lightyear head sculpt. I don't really know which one I like better. I'd say probably the JCPenney one, just because I think that looks a little more like Buzz. But I'm not really a fan of either of them. But, you know, this guy does all the same features. Karate Chop Action, Wash Thing, Wings... Uh, laser wrist communicator. There's no difference there except one thing that is different is with the wings. When you open them, these light up. And with the JCPenney one, they do not. I don't know why they don't have that on JCPenney Buzz, but that's just something they only have here. So now I'm going to play the Disney Store Buzz's phrases. These are the same phrases as the 2019 JCPenney buzz, so you can see the difference pretty much. Approaching destination. Re-engaging gravity. Area secure. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. No back talk. I have a laser, and I will use it. Stand back, everyone. Everyone take cover. Buzz, who goes there? I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Buzz Lightyear. At your service. All quiet, nothing to report. Please be careful. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. They are a terillium carbonic alloy, and I can fly. To infinity and beyond. Approaching destination. Re-engaging gravity. Area secure. Now, one thing about the 2019 JC Penny Buzz is that he had like no blue button when you bought bought him. Now, something about the 2019 JCPenney Buzz is that the blue button wouldn't work when you pressed it when you bought him. 
But there was a way you could take him apart, and I actually did do this with mine. Just get, like, a button plate from another toy, um, and then just put it where the one should be, and he will speak Spanish. So the JCPenney Buzz does have a Spanish mode, but he doesn't come with it. You have to install it yourself. This Buzz did come with the Spanish mode, so I will play all the Spanish phrases. But I just wanted to say the JCPenney Buzz from 2019 had the ability to speak Spanish, but didn't out of the box. But if you were to install that button plate, this is what you would get. So now just to wrap up this part of the video, I wanted to show a current day Disney Store Buzz. This is the 2019 one that I said I swapped the head on. There is a difference between them other than their phrases. So pretty much the 2019 Disney Store Buzz and 2020 Disney Store Buzz, he has this interactive mode where he can talk to other characters. So, so you get this alien here and he talks. Buzz should talk to him or to infinity and beyond. <laughs> it's a secret mission in uncharted space. Let's go. Up and charge them. No time to explain. Attack. Hooray! So they can talk to each other. The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. Full speed ahead. Ah. It's not really that great or anything, but it's a cool feature. All right, now I'm going to compare this guy to Collection Buzz. So here on the left is Collection Buzz. On the right, we have JCPenney Buzz. I'm going to do this as quick as possible. There are a lot of differences. The helmet doesn't do the whoosh thing. He has no karate chop action. Um, that's really the only two differences. Mine at the moment doesn't even have a helmet. Unfortunately, the helmet for this guy broke, so I just took it off. But he's got, you know, the laser... Wrist communicator, the wings, he also has a mode where, he's got like two modes, so one where like, I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, my sensors indicate Zerg is in the area, take cover. You can press the button or just talk to him. Stand back while I power up my laser. Then if you press the red button. I come in peace. To infinity. So, yeah, he talks. He's only got a few toy mode phrases, but he does say Buzz Lightyear to the rescue, so I do like that. Unfortunately, it's not the audio from the movie. I kind of wish it was. I don't really know why they didn't use the audio from the movie, but it's whatever. But personally, I like the collection Buzz better. He's much better for posing. Like, the karate chop action only makes him, like, pose like this or like this whereas you can like put this in any pose you want you could move his fingers individually make him do any pose you want with his hands it's just a really cool and detailed figure and personally one of my favorite buzzes if not my favorite all right let's get back to jc penny buzz so would I recommend JCPenney Buzz? Yeah, I'd recommend JCPenney Buzz. Personally, I'd recommend Collection Buzz over JCPenney, but I'd still recommend both of them. I think they're both really good figures. I know a lot of people like the Disney Store Buzz, which that's pretty much what this is, better than the Collection Buzz. Personally, I'm more a fan of the Collection Buzz, but that's just me. 
everybody's got their own opinion, and I don't think an opinion can ever be wrong. So, you like what you like, I like what I like. Alright, that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, have a nice day. Oh wait, before I go... Buzz has an owner.